Mark, you were frustrated last Saturday after the draw at home. Um, how much has that been sort of put into work on the training field this week to try and sort it out? We're not doing too much wrong, I don't think. You know, we we um, should have got the game won last week and, and seen it out, but um, wasn't the be. Um, so we're just continuing our work and, and what we do and trying to trying to improve all the time. We're aware we've got a really tough task tomorrow. Big, probably the biggest club in the league in terms of where they're at and, and their squad. So um, we're fully aware that it's going to be a tough test. And it says something if you're disappointed after a draw because last season you hardly had any draws. It shows, I suppose, a sign of progress. Yeah, we've we've. Um, Performance-wise, we probably have, should have more points than, than we have, but we haven't. And um, But we're happy. We're happy where we are. We're happy where we're going. We're unbeaten. And um, yeah, we, we're, we're a little bit frustrated, but we're happy with our performances. And MK Dons, as you say, perhaps the biggest club in the league. How similar is that to sort of going to Coventry last season, maybe? Yeah, I think, obviously, MK came down last year and they've retained some of their players. They've got a... A manager who knows how to win at the level. Um, they've brought in some really good players, you know, people like, you know, Ryan Harley, Reese Healy, Robbie Simpson, Jordan Moore Taylor. The, the list goes on. We've got some really good players, and I'm sure that that they're going to have a really good season. Um, I think if you're in and around them, that you won't be far away too. So, big club, um, big expectations, and we're aware that it's going to be a tough afternoon. Two unbeaten teams, so two, I suppose, real form teams who are very difficult to beat. Yeah, we we yeah we know that they've got some really good players, but so have we. And um, you know we're going to go there and try and get a result and try and win the game. And uh, let's hope we're on the right side of it. Bolton's chairman announced during the week that the club was close to going into administration. Obviously, with Christian Dodge there on loan at the moment, how closely had you been monitoring that situation? Um, I think in this game you have to take people at their, for their word. And um, and believe what they say, and uh, I think our chairman um, had a good conversation with with Mr. Anderson, and I think we were pretty cool about it. And obviously, that's that's been averted, so things just carry on as before, don't they? Well, listen, the the worst thing that could have happened is Christian would have probably come back to us in January, so um, and it'd be worth probably a lot more money because I'm convinced they'll go and score a lot of goals between now and January. Mm. The way that the team continues to score goals without him, how pleasing was it that Carl Winchester scored early doors? Because you know suddenly there you've got a midfielder who's, who's struck a couple of goals already this season. Yeah, he should have about ten. The chances he's missed. Um, I spoke at length about people. We need to chip in everywhere. You know, we just need to spread that burn, and we need to spread the loss. You know, the, what we've lost with Christian's goal was need to spread the goals about. And uh, if we're going to be successful, we need to do that. Full week on the training field this week. How useful has that been of just sort of not having a midweek game and being able to get some more work into the players? It's more beneficial, I think, to to get a little bit of rest as well. So they've, had, they've been full on, really, for the first sort of four or five, whatever weeks it is. And then, and to get a little bit of rest and, and some probably more tactical approach and and, um, and make sure we, we continue getting to that good work into it, getting the good work into it. And you were that for End Rawson? this week and for a couple of games as well. Um, I suppose you've got the strength in the squad though to, to have options of you know of ways to fill that gap if you like. Yeah we have Faz but Faz will be a big miss. Um, I think you know if you've anyone saw the the soccer aim survey when it was nearly over ninety percent of people thought it was a yellow card and not a red card. But the FA obviously chose not to overturn it. But um, we've got to do without him but like I say we've got a We've got a strong enough squad to carry it. And injuries, everyone okay? Yes, everyone's fine.